Hey, good morning everybody. It's been quite some time since I've made a video. <clears throat> I throw the little shorts together. It just take 15 seconds or maybe 60. You can just kind of do it on the fly and be done with it. But I have been pretty busy. and having some chicken egg problems and I've been going out of town, which was a really good reason and a wonderful trip. Um, I'm so thankful to get to spend my time up there in Pike County, up in Kentucky, up with the old regulars, having a celebration. It's like a family reunion and some wonderful preaching over the weekend and uh, visiting with people who are grieving over lost ones just really kind of put me in a well, sorry in a little bit of a funk there for a few days I'm gonna try to explain it here but I thought I'd pause on Psalm 91 there for a minute He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I think, you know, I made a video maybe a year and a half ago now saying that I believe we're, you know, really entering the perilous times or in the great conflagration, I called it, where <clears throat> stories of despair and violence and just maniacal and just utter evil are just stacking up and boy when I said that a year and a half ago I couldn't have really imagined how far along we would be at this point but I mean we see it every day more and more stories of just you know horrible violence and different things and you know, a lot of stuff has been going on in Kentucky here recently and Ohio. And I made a little clip last night. Like, you know, what are they targeting states now with their um, nefarious plans? And. It's truly the devil at work. You know, a preacher said something this weekend. He's been a preacher I've known my whole entire life. He was one of my dad's good, good friends. And uh, I don't know if you agree with this doctrine or not, but, you know, he says, he said that we are in the little season. That de The devil is loose. And boy, that has really stuck my nose into the book of Revelations, trying to, once again, figure it out. Things that I don't need to figure out every single little detail to, but there I go. I'm always drawn to it. Like, what can this mean? Like, how, how does this fit into the timeline? I don't want to put names on things like... Well, they call it all millennial or post millennial, or you know, I don't want to label doctrine, you know, like they have done. But if you look, I mean, that's the little season that John spoke of is not until 20, chapter 20, verse 7 of Revelation. So that being the case, we we are really pretty late in the hour, huh? 
I keep having um, numbers always enter my mind. And I try to chide myself like, you know, quit worrying about the numbers. But I, my mind is always drawn back to numbers. April 2027 is one. April 2027 is definitely one. But anyway, I just wanted to try to, you know, I don't know, put my two cents in or just check in and say hey to those of you who don't see that I'm putting out those little short videos usually pretty you know daily breaking news happens and apparently maybe you don't get a notification when I put out a short I don't know but I'm trying to put out the short videos just to let everybody know when breaking news is happening um I'm just, really, I'm just too busy doing life to try to make a lot of longer videos. So, make sure you watch for my shorts, because those are what I'm going to put out when it's breaking. It's breaking news that I think somebody needs to hear about, especially if it's around Tennessee or Kentucky. So, keep an eye out for that, and, uh... Just know that, you know, no matter how far we may be and no matter where we're at and we don't know and no matter how much it feels like despair and no matter how tough it's getting, it's just going to get even crazier and even worse and even more depraved until... Yeshua, Jesus returns, so, we just have to stay in the word to keep ourselves bolstered and understand that even though seems like there's no hope there's always that blessed assurance we just have to <clears throat> be tough enough and be resilient enough but most importantly have enough faith to know that we're going to be in that good place one of these days <clears throat> he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God. In Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee in his feathers, with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall by my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh of thy dwelling. 
For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear up thee in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. What's up?